Well, I'm in Red Bluff, California, and I just met with my daughter, but we could not. I haven't seen her in a while, and I really wanted to hug her, and I feel like crying because I can't hug her. I can't get close to her. Um, and you just have to be strong through these through these times. Um, I'm doing it because I love her, and I don't want to, to get her sick. It's interesting because in the Philippines, they drink out of each other's water bottles. They have... Um, I mean, they, the upper class do have the knowledge and the intelligence, so they follow these things. Some people, I mean, it's not like everyone's the same, but generally, the poorer people, when someone gets sick, it wipes out a whole community. They all get sick, and not that they all die, but a lot of people do die. The older people, the impaired immune system people die, and people wonder, why are they all dying? It's because you, you don't know how to um, keep viruses from spreading. You spread them, you know, by your actions, by touching each other, by shaking hands and being close. And, you know, that's one reason I love the Philippines is because people are close. And when you get in a train car or a bus or a jeepney, you're just like right next to the person. Might as well be in bed with them. You're just like, you're, your bodies are squished together like sardines in a can. And, you know, it's, I've only fed sardines to cats. I've never eaten them, but anyway, I do know how close they are, and it's it's a term used, and so I'm using it, and it's just Red Bluff right here. Um, no people. Um, she works at this little place, Starbucks. She said nobody is allowed to come in and buy. Uh, they have to go through the drive through It's a grab-and-go policy right now, and so I have to keep my phone down. It's I'm vlogging. You're not supposed to touch a phone while you're driving, and I don't want to be a bad influence on people here. But my goodness, this is this is uh, really serious. What's going on here? And I want to to vlog this and document it because it's above and beyond anything I've ever seen in my entire life. It's bizarre. It's crazy. I have been through a lot of countries in Asia. I has been a few months since I was in China. And so, but, but what I'm trying to say is that it's nothing like here. America, I just turned on the radio. It said that it has been confirmed that the uh, COVID-19 is in all 50 states now. So it's in Alaska, it's in Hawaii, it's in Virginia, it's in Georgia, it's in Dakotas, it's in Michigan, Ohio. And we just can't get away from it. Um, it's no doubt that lots of people are going to be dying from this, so I don't know. When things get like this, your brain kind of starts to overload, and you don't know really what to say. So I want to... <coughs> See, I'm coughing already. You wonder, oh, do, do I have it? And you, you start thinking in your mind, like, every little feeling. Is that... What is that? Um, you know, am I feeling okay? You start to... You know, feel a little panicky. I don't want the the Lord tells us, God tells us, Jesus tells us, the Bible tells us, His Word tells us not to be afraid. For perfect love casts out fear, and God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but of love and joy and peace and of a sound mind. So I want to have peace. I want to have a sound mind and all of this, but I want to be real. I want to be realistic in discussing with you and sharing with you and telling you and putting on record here on my channel. What is actually happening here in the United States of America? It is, it is over the top. It is bizarre. Every news channel that I, every channel I go to, it's either Spanish. I can't understand the music or the what they're saying, or it's talking about this virus. Uh, if you go on YouTube, that's all it's talking about. So I'm going to talk about it, um, and I'm going to tell you what is going on everywhere that I go. I'm here in America. I can't see any of my family. I can't talk to my sister, my mother. I am uh, working right now, actually, but I have to actually work. I'm taking care of an elderly man, um, and I'm on the job, and I'm working, but I'm actually using a... It's called a cloud cam. It's Amazon cloud cam, and I'm not far away. I'm in my truck, and I'm watching him through a camera, so... I will then contact my sister and tell her. So I'll be up all night watching him on the camera and then I'll be telling my sister who is physically there because she's been in the room with him. I'll tell her 
whatever he's doing and what she needs and what he needs, you know, what she needs to do to help him. So I'll see him get up and if he needs to go to the bathroom, then I'll tell her he needs to go to the bathroom. I can talk with him. He can talk back to me. And I'm using this app that way because this man needs three caregivers and they have to do shifts. Otherwise, the people, the caregiver, one caregiver would, would just keel over. It just wouldn't be possible. He is really, really... Um, not not a bad person, not a difficult person, but a, a needy person because of the accident he had and um, motorcycle crash and his recent bout with cancer and his surgery. So I'm working officially now in the United States of America as of the, uh, the 16th was my first day here. And I've been busy, but I'm having to stay a distance to protect these people. So that's all. Bye-bye.